Good morning, welcome to Cooley Outdoors. Morning. morning. <laughs> I am your host, Brandon Scott, and with me today is Nash and Ethan. Ethan was able to fly up into Yakima and do some work again, so we came out and picked him up on his day off to go do some adventuring. We're out in the desert this time, really in the desert this time, uh, between Quincy and George Washington on the east side of the Columbia River. We are going to go do a hike called the Ancient Lakes in the uh, Quincy Lakes uh, National Wildlife Area. So I'll show you the books next. We are deep in the desert, completely in basalt country, and we're actually gonna go see coolies for once, even though the page is called Coolie Outdoors and we never go see coolies. So, you know, fulfilling things one day at a time. Gonna bust out some books you don't normally get to see on this channel. 55 hikes in central Washington. Covers Yakima, Potholes, Wenatchee, Grand Coulee, pretty much anything west or east of the Cascades along the Columbia River. Hike number 36, Ancient Lakes, round trip eight miles, 100 feet, it's a flat desert hike, You're walking through the bottom of a coulee to some lakes. We are at the lower route, so slightly longer route. We decided not to do the upper route, because the upper route, you have to drop down to the lakes, and that drop down is probably gonna be icy to hike on, so we decided to avoid that. Ancient Lake there, and then the other one, the other big one for this area is Best Desert Hikes Washington. Hike number 22, Ancient Lakes. This one says round trip four to five miles. That's because we're not going all the way trailhead to trailhead. We are parked down here at parking. Take number 22 up Potholes Coulee up to Ancient Lakes and hopefully go see that waterfall at the back of Ancient Lakes and hopefully it's frozen over. So yeah, the upper route would start over here at a different road and come downstream. And then boom, get to the lakes. So we'll go do Ancient Lakes. We might do Dusty Lake, we might not, but we're definitely gonna go do at least Ancient Lakes. Oh yeah, there, oh, yeah there, but in the desert in the winter, don't you know? <laughs> All right, Clank is parked here. So this is a state wildlife refuge. So you need your discovery pass. It is $35 a year, which is not that bad in the grand scheme of things. But this is a four mile one way hike and you're gonna gain like a hundred feet of elevation. So let's go hang out in the desert some. It's all basalt. Basalt, basalt everywhere. Basalt. Basalt. <laughs> Can you get that right <laughs> Shh. Oh, no, we got a lot of meth though. <laughs> hey man. Yeah, come, 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 over to, come over to Marysville and we'll Net's messed up. There. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, Marysville, Arlington. Mm, that's messed up, man. Some shoddy ones in Mount Vernon. Yeah. So can you can you bike here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can bike. Just they treat e-bikes like vehicles, so they don't want e-bikes out here. But yeah, you can totally yeah, mountain bike this I stuff. That. That's a the, the actually the very first video Nash and I made for Cooley Outdoors was over there in Frenchman Cooley, and we thought about riding bikes out. We ended up hiking it, but we were checking it out for bikes, and we probably could have biked it the whole time too. Uh, I think hiking would have been better idea because oh, yeah. loose sand. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's kind of tough. But so we hiked along, and obviously you two, I'll post that the link to that video right there but so we are going and checking out the old part of the sunset highway which is highway 10 okay. which is what i-90 replaced oh, oh okay never mind i was thinking of something else so it comes up it goes up like north yeah uh i don't even know what it's called we're going so we are checking out an old part of the sunset highway and on google maps or on google earth i saw that it cuts up the cliff face like that. I was like oh that'd be a pretty cool spot to hang out so that's what we did we walked along the old road bed found a spot where the road was literally etched out of the cliffs set up a little sun tarp and hung out and took a nap in the sun and it was nice <laughs> oh yeah we tried to set up the tarp and uh, the wind picked up and almost took it down to the river yeah we spent like a half hour trying to set it up and we're just like screw it oh sorry Thank you. have a good one have a good night Oh, there's some still some snow on the top of the coolie back there. I probably done this in my tennis shoes when I think about it. Or my running shoes. Yeah. Because it's so compact here. Yeah, no, well, I mean, before they changed the rules for the wildlife areas like 20 years ago, this used to all be two tracks and you could drive most of this stuff. But. That'd be pretty neat. You could probably bring a Wrangler through here. Well, you could yeah. get Rex through here. I mean, the brush is encroached in a little bit, but yeah. That's why it's not super it tight. Yeah. I mean, eh. It's no different than when we 4x4s with Rex on the other side. Yeah. It's the same stuff. The only part where you really can't drive Rex, where there's Jeep trails in this country, or in this state, 
is up in the Autanum in the Rimrock Lake area. And those are like really skinny Jeep trails. Those were designed back in the 50s when the Jeeps were tiny. The Rimrock Lake, is that, that's getting up towards White Pass? Yeah, that's getting okay, up towards White okay. You'll drive past. Okay, so on the, so the pass goes on, or the road goes on the north side of the lake. On the south side of the lake, it's all hiking and four by four trails. Mm. It's got all Jeep trails in there. But those, like they say online, if your vehicle is wider than this, do not come. Uh, and Rex is about 15 inches too wide. 15, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's made for the little tiny Jeeps. Yeah, like all wheelies and mm -hmm. Like I think the last generation of Jeep Wrangler that, ooh, ooh, look oh. at all them ice. Oh, that's oh yeah. Great. That's wow, gonna be good. Sure. Anywho, I think the last generation of like even modern quote unquote modern Jeep Wranglers that could fit through those trails were made in the late 90s. <laughs> like even modern rank two door Wranglers are too fat and chunky to go through. That's an old car to get started. I'm gonna let you guys go ahead. I'm gonna monologue a little bit about what we're looking at. So this is Potholes Cooley. Straight ahead of us up in here is going to be Ancient Lakes. You've got this first Cooley Ridge line here. On the other side of that is Dusty Lake. Oh, the wind's picking up, but right there, I'll put a little yellow circle on it. That is the Gorge Amphitheater, music venues and such go on there. And then around the other side is Frenchman Coulee, which is where we've been before, like I said on the first video. So this is a Coulee. It is a steep-sided, flat-bottomed canyon formed by the Ice Age floods, the Missoula floods, that ripped out the basalt column by column. Uh, yeah, it's gonna only be like 100 feet, so it's just rambling. It's kind of cold and windy today. It's supposed to get up to 40 degrees today. I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, you come out here, and the best time to come out here, which will hopefully we will do this upcoming spring, will be like March, April time, whenever the wildflowers all pop, when it's nice and warm and 65, sunny degrees, 70 degrees out here. The wildflowers are popping when it's still gross and rainy and cold in Seattle. Yeah, there's lots of lots of acreage to go out and explore but it's cool we were going to come out here last time Ethan was up here about a month month and a half ago whenever that was but it was just so foggy and snowy and cold that I didn't want to risk driving down that dirt road to get to the access trailhead and get stuck so we went and did um tandem creek instead but I got her out here today yeah it's a little cold and a little brisk but it's still a pretty good day to hike. Looks like the clouds are supposed to eventually get sunny. I'm not sure if I believe that. But the clouds look like they may be thinning out. But yeah, the central Washington desert. Basalt, basalt and sagebrush. And every once in a while you'll go find something interesting. So it's nice though. We get to look at all the where the water seeps out of the rocks and creates these little ice sheets and ice falls over there hopefully there's supposed to be an actual year-round waterfall from the irrigation project up here at the very head of the coulee where it drains into ancient lake and hopefully that'll be all a pretty ice show if that's still icy over here and hopefully the one at the head of the valley will be nice and pretty but yeah we learned yeah there's got to be like some sort of payoff especially if you're gonna slog like that there's the waterfall i was looking at that I mean, that one's bigger, but that doesn't run year round. This random chunk is just sitting right here. Like, All right, Ethan, you're the master climber. Get up there. Yeah. Uh, it's oh, I'll take a look at it. That's some <laughs> chossy looking stuff, though. It's all right. Eventually, we'll start bringing out boulder pads and we'll start climbing some of this. They probably have some sort of route. Oh, over in right. Frenchman Cooley is covered in routes. I see. There's some good looking columns in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, no, Frenchman Cooley is covered in routes. And actually, just west of Leavenworth, if you go up Icicle, the Icicle River Road, yeah, it's full. There's some good like sport routes out there. Oh yeah, no, that's where that's the only place Nash and I have gone purposely outdoor bouldering with rented boulder pads. I yeah. And I, it was sweet, and we need to do it more. But again, it's, it's there's just, just granitic over there, right? Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, much it's all granites and sandstone, so mm -hmm. it's easier to rock with. I mean, basalt's not bad to climb either, but yeah, if you can find it, that's a good one, yeah. If you can find the right spots, but most basalt's usually good for top rope and trad stuff, so. Oh shit, yo, I did uh, my first two trad leads last I year. saw that, that was exciting. That was pretty dope. It was on some super 
super slabby stuff. We get a lot of like, we get, they're called plutons. Yep, like, big just, yeah, I don't, um, That's like yeah. what Stone Mountain is, though you can't climb there, mm -hmm. which is a travesty. Um, but yeah, I was up, it's called Mount Iona. It's a, it's a big pluton. And you like hike up to the main face right below the summit and they have a couple. Yeah. Um, a lot of routes there, including a couple like, multiple. No. I'm hoping to. All right, so I guess stay along the left and walk along this bluff. Oh yeah, there, bud. Oh yeah, there, bud. You guys can go in front and get on camera if you want. I'm not trying to hide you guys from camera. Hell, half my video is staring at Nash's butt anyway. Yeah, it's up to you. Try to check out this mint backpack. Yeah. Really, the one patch of ice we have found. I, I was on purpose. I was on purpose. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see this kind of stuff. Huh? It's a good thing I didn't bring my fishing pole. I'd be uh, sorely disappointed. Just create yourself a nice big ice hole. Yeah. Ice hole, YouTube. Ice hole. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. <laughs> if, it's, if it's after the first 10 minutes, I think. No, actually, YouTube is uh, coming oh, out with an update here at the at the start of this month, uh -oh. where if there's certain curse words at any point in your video, they will demonetize it. Really? Forever, yeah. Why? Because they're because fucking... they're trying to appeal to children who watch YouTube the most. Yeah. I guess so. Although there are a huge even though you're not allowed, you're supposedly not allowed to make a YouTube uh, a YouTube profile if you're younger than 13 anyway. But no, they gotta watch out in case children's watching it. It's like, that's the job of the parents. Although children are already on social media, cursing, cursing their heads off. Anyway. I was gonna say, children have gotten quite vulgar anyway. I don't think if they hear some guy say asshole on a hike, it's gonna matter. But I didn't see it. <laughs> see what I did there, YouTube? Yeah. A big, big ass ice <laughs> We don't have enough subscribers to monetize. No, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> and it probably never will, but... Make sure to like and subscribe. So we can get demonetized. What'd you do? I stubbed my toe. How? <laughs> How do you <laughs> stub your toe? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rock back there. Uh -huh. You know, Ethan, I'm starting to take into question some of your exploits. I'm just saying, bro. What you don't see behind every picture is there's a parking lot. That's what it's all about. Yeah. God, you two are annoying. <laughs> what? Messing up your audio, bro. Let's continue on and go see the waterfall. Be a pretty good spot for a campsite, though, eh? Yeah. Yeah, not bad at all. My map shows there might be a million campsites all around, but this is the first, like... Oh, I'm sure. It's all just backcountry, pick your spot, go. Straight or left? Let's probably go straight, follow the main track. I'm trying to get up close to the falls there. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to wander around to the left side is where I think the proper way to go but there's one more lake down in here down in here mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over here yeah 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 if you thought you're hanging out with intellectual people Ethan you have been sadly mistaken yeah, we are college educated but we're still kind of stupid <laughs> that thought never crossed my mind don't worry <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll right
Raggy. She called us dumb. <laughs> Bro. Oh. I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's a lot bigger than it shows in pictures. Yeah. Oh, you see the ice flow? Uh huh, that's a big. That's pretty cool there. Might have to go check that out. Mm hmm, right there. Mm -hmm. I thought that they were two little secret lakes, but now I have a surprise waterfall. I didn't tell you there was a waterfall here? No, you did not. Oh, I, I thought just, I did. I just heard lakes. I'm like, okay. Oh, I thought I did. My bad. This is someone that was skating on the, on the lake. That would be sick. Someone ice skating, I'll just swim sweat with skates on it. That's called a toboggan. Yeah, that's the word. And go down to the bottom of Chelan. That'd be sick. That's some scary stuff there. Chelan is deep. Yeah, third deepest, fifth, third or fifth deepest in the country. Oh yeah, that's a good reveal. Eh? I heard an owl. You thought you heard an owl? I thought it did. A great gray owl with a vibrated sound <laughs> it makes. Um, grouse or something? Uh, it's not like a oh, great gray owl with the ones that have the pages where they've got someone sat on them. I might need to look that up. <laughs> no, they have the, like the really bush. Yeah, smoky face. <laughs> and they make, they make a vibrated poop noise. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we heard one at the Olympics on the hike. <laughs> Descent into the madness. Would have liked to get a long exposure from the top of the bluff, but oh well. Oh well. Here we come back up, here we come back up here. If not, if not. <sighs> Oh yeah! Uh, it? It's tempting. It's tempting to go out there. You know what we sh I should have done while we were still up on top of the bluff? Uh, I should have taken a video for like 10 or 15 minutes. I'm thinking we probably can. It's been cold enough over here long enough. Uh, I mean, that's the safe route. <laughs> no, staying on the talus. I've never been scared of walking across the talus slope. I don't know. Go get your butt out on there and see what it is. I know. I, I really want to see you try it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the guinea pig. Hey, we take turns being guinea pig. And I say the sketchiest part is always along shore because that's where it thaws and freezes. I'm, I'm stopping on I was going to say. All right, get out there and see what it looks like. I think Nash, what? the hooting you hear is grouse. Is it grouse? 
it's I, grouse. I did just hear and that's sage grouse. Maybe. That's some sage grouse we probably disturbed while we were up top. Oh, I probably haven't ID'd one of those. I did get a grouse in the southeast a couple. Yeah. Ago. Go for it, dude. I don't care now. I know, well, yeah, yeah, it's walking across a frozen lake. It's always going to be scary. You're already like there. You're already committed. As long as you keep tapping out in front. Yeah, what is the color? Does color serve any sort of indication? Theoretically, if the dark, the more opaque it gets, the the thicker it is. The darker. You know, the more opaque, the whider it gets. Oh, okay. If it's if it's clear, that means it's pretty shallow. And you can still see through water. If it's thick like that, it's probably I knew solid. If somebody was out there with me. Like All right, million. time to do it for the poop tubes. All right, YouTube, let's watch me survive. Go uh, drown. Has this video been demonetized yet? Is it worth it? <laughs> this is how you get it re-monetized, dude. That it that looks. That's the ice cracking. That's the ice shifting. <laughs> it wasn't me. I haven't even stepped on it yet. It wasn't even me. <laughs> oh, it's starting to crack. Well, that, that was back here, though. Yeah. That's up against the shore. Oh. It's just shifting. Oh, man. Do I really want to do this? <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, it looks like you're on thinness. Yeah, right here is thin. I'm gonna stay away from the tree, but this is oh Here we go. Here's where you can look right there Where it's up against the rock here I'm feeling pretty safe. I mean in the clear spots I can look down through it and it looks like it's frozen a good couple inches through Yeah, right here up against this rock where it's frozen and thought it looks I don't know three or four inches thick Six or eight inches? Three, to inches. Okay. three to six inches. Three to six inches. I've got I've got the table in my mind. I just can't remember. Do you want to what, walk it but stay close to the edge? Oh, I'm not going out in the middle. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember we did that last time. <laughs> well, again, but that had been frozen literally all winter. You still have yeah. two more months of winter. That feels solid. Famous last words. It feels solid. This is dumb. Shut up. You're fine. <laughs> well, the tree's going to be the sketchiest part because it's thermal. It's going to help thermal regulate and make it thinner over yeah, there. Well, but it, like, looking over here, back into the rocks over here, it looks thick. And it's going to be thicker the further out in the middle you go. You just got to avoid the clear spots and just don't get too close to me. Come on, Ethan. Know, We're going to die together. Let's do this. Ride together, we die. Oh God, I am so puckered up right now. We ride together, we fly together. Something like that. Damn, dude, we really should have brought skates out. This would have been hilarious. <laughs> nope, oh, run away. Oh. <laughs> nope, I was just about to do a little 360 on YouTube. Damn. <laughs> That's just that. I think it's because you got too close to me, dude. I'm still gonna watch. Nah. I'm gonna keep going. I think it's just Nash got too close to me and overweighted it. Stay like 10 feet away. <sighs> All right, YouTube. Yes, I am out on a frozen lake. I know my work phone has service because it just dinged at me. Do either of your phones have service? Probably. Yeah. Okay, because one of us has to have 911 available. <laughs> Not that it's gonna do much good. I should, I mean. Nope, I have no service. I know. I think my personal doesn't. I do. Thanks, T-Mobile. Well, my personal phone's on Verizon. My work phone's on AT and T. So it's weird that my work phone has and my personal doesn't. Well, yeah, maybe the best one. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Ethan. You don't get to do this every day. Again, it looks pretty good. Like even in the thin spots, it looks like it's a couple inches thick. Just don't get too close to each other and make too much weight in one spot. How are we gonna take a selfie? Uh. <laughs> let's let's not fo let's focus on walking. Wait, I think, I think my selfie stick is in my backpack, and I have a folder for it. It's just gonna take so long to get it out. Oh. Hey. Wait, there's... <laughs> there we go. Oh man, this is dumb. It feels we're, good. We're on Lake Lillian. Didn't that snow on it too? Yeah, it had like a foot of snow on it and it was it helped. <laughs> this isn't helping. <laughs> Alright, I was probably like 
Yeah, that's probably the safer way to do it because you're spreading your weight out. Yeah. All right, YouTube, we're all standing on a frozen lake in eastern Washington. Right. Why? Because we because we have a death wish. And now, now that I got my phone out, this is this is when we're gonna crack through is when we all have our phones out. Yeah. I'm going to shimmy towards the waterfall. It feels pretty good. I uh, definitely do not advise anyone do this, but uh. Here we are doing this. The ravens are circling, waiting for imminent demise. Oh, no, they're fighting or something. I think those are three ravens. I think so. And here comes a fourth. It might be. <sighs> Come on, Nash. No, you're being smart. <laughs> And I gotta reiterate this again, YouTube. Yes, we would do this even without the camera rolling. I'm gonna, the cracking is out there. I'm gonna go away from that. Shut up. But yes, YouTube, we would do this even without the cameras. We're just that dumb. Morning. Do not try this at home. <laughs> no, but like even these thin spots where it's refrozen, it looks thick. Eventually, yeah. If I die, I'm gonna kill you, Scotty. All right, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Stay away from the tree. See, that's gonna be, that's where we're gonna have to make a decision. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna get it. <laughs> we can't go near the tree because it's too thin, but going further out is just as sketchy. Yeah, I Don't get too close to me. I'm, keep walking. Walking. I'm working on it. I'm the one that's trailblazing. Ethan's back there having a fun time trying to find an ice fishing spot. I'm just... <laughs> like if, I, if I can punch this through, then I don't want to be standing on it. So. Uh-huh. Just don't take any big, heavy steps. Shuffle. Shuffle is life. Whee! Just penguin slide? Yeah. Yeah, you flop down and you might. I was half jokingly thinking of doing this this morning and now I'm actually doing it. I don't know what that says about me. Our moms are gonna be mad. Oh, our, your mom is gonna be so pissed. I was gonna say it was her fault thing. You went out here first! <laughs> I was really talking about. Mm. All right, decision time. Do I get off the ice or do I go further out to avoid the tree? Like even the ice under the tree looks fairly thick. <laughs> Are you trying to film? No, I mean, I have been filming the whole time, but I mean, I'm just entertained seeing what's going to happen. <laughs> no more of that, Ethan. Oh my God. No more. Ugh. <laughs> Well, if you want to bail, the spot to bail is right there. I think I've had my fun. Look at that. I've had my fun. I've had Like, there's no. I, I'm bouncing on it, and there's no. F huh? White is good. White means thicker. White yeah. You don't want to go walking across the clear stuff because it's thin enough to see through. That's, and that's me talking, so that means you get over here too. I think I'm going to get back on the ice once we get on the other side of the tree. Because I mean, again, it's been what, four years since we've done this last? Yeah, but last one was more confident walking on. 
there but there was open cracks. You could see through the water. There's snow on it too. Yeah. I don't know. I feel safer out there than I do coming back to the shore. <laughs> see, it's like even this clear stuff, it looks quite thick. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. Ethan made that noise and like, <laughs> I have to get off this lake. Yeah, I was just doing a couple little tap tap. I can feel it shaking the ice, but it's not breaking. Shaking is good enough for me. Shaking means it's solid. Right see, like even where it's going to be, th yeah, see? And that's still quite thick right up against the rock. Where it's going to be thin because that's because the rock radiates heat and melts it all the time. Oh, oh sphincters relax. Yeah, that's what <laughs> 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 All right. Off to the waterfall. We didn't do any more walking along the ice on the lake, but we're at the waterfall. You can see those two goofballs are up there. Camera's rolling for a long exposure right there. I'll post that right there. But uh, I'm going to go, we're going to go at least sit up there together and maybe get up on top. And you'll be able to see it all on the uh, long exposure too. Oh, this is going to suck bringing this backpack back down. But it's got lunch and alcohol and camera equipment, so want to take more videos then mmm destination ice Do you mind? So Nash, do you want me to stay over then? Or can I just come straight to you? Okay. Well, are you gonna be throwing rocks or can I come up? Okay. I heard a dipper. One of you pissed off the dipper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> What's the easy way up? I wasn't watching where you climbed up. Oh, um, Ethan chose the difficult route. It's over here. Well, of course Ethan chose the difficult route. He's the climber. I'm going to eventually end up on top. I was going to try, but I don't want to climb up there. It's not that bad. It's just more scree. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And yes, the camera on my face is also rolling. Okay. Oh yeah, this is sweet. Okay. I'm up there. I'm right there. I'm gonna say, there's this really skinny spot right there. Move. I was gonna say it looks a little uh if I think I'm gonna stay like right here that's a damn good view though Woo! all right let's turn the camera off have some grubbing yeah doing that again I ain't doing that again <laughs> so we came from Nash a little perch came up the scree slope I know I'm an idiot and I forgot and there's been an otter coming up in this open spot here. Let's see if he comes out again. But Ethan and I are gonna go get up on top of the falls and maybe go check out that ice flow. 
But got up the hard part without videoing it because, you know, I'm stupid. I'm a terrible photographer and filmmaker. I'm oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is easy. This is good. Nash, you're missing out. This is easy up here. Oh, you are? Don't forget your hiking stick. <laughs> You're welcome. Woo, if it wasn't bright yellow, I probably would have forgot about it too. I'm surprised you know, like leaving cameras everywhere. I was losing. Well, I've only got two of them to keep track of, and one of them's always on my fucking face, so. I almost thought, I almost panicked about my other one. I was like, no, it's still down there on the tripod, dum dum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm hoping the camera down there is still rolling. If it's not, oh well. Oh yeah. This is cool. My dad's gonna be so fucking pissed. He wanted to come out today, but they were going, him and my mom were gonna go see our great grandmother today. Go visit her a bit. She's in a rest home over in Bremerton. She had a pretty nasty fall a couple months ago and broke her hip. She's tough though. She's 100 and almost 106, so. She's tough. Yeah. Like my brother was playing college ball at a community college over there and she refused to miss a single game and would sit in the bleachers no matter what the weather. She's a tough old bird. She's all there mentally. She's obviously at 106. The body's not there anymore. But she's still there mentally. Yeah, it is. No matter how you cut it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! This is cool. Yeah, this will work. This will work for a day's adventure. Oh, he's not even going to cut over to the trail. He's just going straight up. He's definitely doing better. <laughs> he's doing better than I was. Let's tell you that. Yeah, he's got no weight on his back. Uh, yeah. I don't have that much. It's all layers. Dude, make is, it look like a carry a lot This is stuff. a good view. And that other waterfall at the edge is on in the sun now. And you can see it. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is good. Yeah, this is a pretty... Uh, this is about as you, good as you can get for a winter hike. Honestly. Yeah, when we get back closer over there, I want to I'm gonna break out the binoculars again, get a couple pictures of the ridge. Yeah. Come on, Nashy Poo! <laughs> Come on, Otter, come back out. I got the camera rolling. Yeah. I want to see you once more. It's still camera time, baby. No. It'll be probably moving too much. Mm-hmm. It was kicking around. I'm, I'm sure he was watching us, and once we settled down on that rock for a while, he felt comfortable again. Woo! Oh. Yeah, this will do. This will work. Okay. Now I want to go stand on that point there. What's up? So now I want to go stand on that outcrop right there, right next to the ice. I think he did that on purpose. Hold on, stay there, Ethan. I'm getting your picture. Oh, yeah. All right, time to whip the selfie stick back out. Yeah, you can see all three of them pretty good. Aren't you glad you came up here? Oh yeah, right after I ate. That was a great idea. <laughs> Do I hear a bunch of whining and complaining? Here. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, the camera! <laughs> Bro. That would be brutal. Like You'd one, be buying me a new that's camera. Like a, that's like a kicker hitting the freaking goalpost. <laughs> it's like, how? <laughs> it's like, it's almost impossible. How? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs>
All right, come here, ding dongs. Which ding dong? Both of you. What do you mean, which ding dong? You got clarify. I'm stuck with two of them. Which one do you think? Oh. Huh? Oh, pigeons and geese. Yeah. Yeah. Oi! Get over here. Try to take a selfie. Ah. Got to do it for the gram. Except for it's not picking up on the sky. All right, 10 seconds to get our shit together. It's not picking up on the sky though, that's good. Oh no, oh yeah, that got the sky a lot better. That's good. Oh, that's a good shot. That'll work. I'm definitely, I'm gonna at least get up right over there. Oh yeah, get up there and you can probably just sidewalk it up. Okay, relatively, comparatively, going up's easier than coming down. All right, pause for a second to pan. Oh, wow. This is cool. Hell, while we're up here, I might have to traverse and get over to the other side over there and take some looks back this direction. That'll probably get really good pictures of that. I'd go stand over there on one of these points. That'd be pretty cool. It like down that oh, a bun bunch more swamp. just came down. Nice. Yeah. While, while we're up here, we might as well, right? <laughs> while, you're in there. while you're there, you spend 95% of the time and energy to get here. You might as well, right? Oh, dude, that's a picture. Ice in the desert, baby. It's so tall, though, I still can't even get all of it in the picture. This column's completely separate from the rest of the cliff. Come on, Ethan, come, come scissor your way in. Hold on, stay there, Nash. I need to get you guys a picture in front of the ice first. That is massive. Hanging out in the coolies above the Columbia River in central Washington. Checking out ice and lakes and waterfalls. I'm gonna get back here a little ways and get a little... I'm gonna push it over, all right? Yeah, okay. There's a big ass cap on top of you, up on top, so... Well, we gotta watch out, make sure it doesn't fall on me. Yeah, when you dump it over. Aw, oh, yeah. This is why we bring the professional climber out, guys. Where? Damn, dude, you wore too much earth tones. You blend in. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get you some bright orange. I like making it hard on search and rescue. Don't we all? <laughs> Smile. Let's get a little wide. I'm going to say, you don't need to go all that much further. Got one of you. I'll get one of Nash with the ice. And then I'll get a scenery shot. Dude, that's just such a damn good picture. Oh my God. And I think I'm probably gonna turn the camera off for a little bit, cause it's been rolling the whole time. Oh. Holy crap, you're going for <laughs> Nash. Ignore him. <laughs> Let me get one last picture of you like 20 feet up the size. Yeah, throw me throw me the peace sign or whatever the hell that was. Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't probably here. That's that's further than I would have gone. Uh, if you give me a few minutes, I just need to think about how to get down. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't bring no crash pads, so 
You're on your own. Yeah, there's the trail coming down from the upper lot right here. So yeah, it just comes down and you got to go down. So. Bye waterfall. Bye ice. Time to go along the little lake shore. We thought about walking across the ice, but I thought those are boobs for a second. I was about to get really excited. Yeah, they totally knew it was the year 18. <laughs> All right, along the lake shore we go. Yeah, for a little while at least. A what? Oh. I thought you said a hoop. No. Yeah, I see him. Hoof prints. That one looks kind of big. Nah, that's still deer sized. Clouds come back in. Climbed back out of the basin now we're on this hill or moraine or whatever feature you want to call it that's holding the lake water back get up on top here drop back down to the coolie bottom on the other side and it's smooth flat sailing back to clank i figured one last look Looking west towards the mouth of the coulee at the Columbia River and got to go around to the right back to the car. New, uh, Fresh stuff? Oh, so I remember following these dog prints when we came up. Uh, no, these are, no, yeah, these are fresh. So that's been here since we've been. Yeah, I we would have remembered those. Is that deer there? Yes, yeah, deer. Yeah. That's, that's the dew claws on the back. They must have been hiding down in here or something. Oh, yeah, this is all fresh since it thawed out today. Mm hmm. An alarm. Nope, it's too cool for you. Service on my work phone. I'm gonna stop bitching about work, YouTube. You sure? I'm sure you don't want to listen to that. You just want to look at the pretty scenery as we walk. That's what I want. I guess it's too cool to cast the boulder there. Oh yeah, coming this way. I was letting you go forward to get in the shot. Go. I'll take us another slip of it when we get down. I don't want to try and drink and hike at the same time while filming. <laughs> you gotta set a good example. Shit. I do not. No, I can't believe I didn't tell you guys about the waterfall. That's why I chose this hike in particular, because we get to see some lakes and a waterfall. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'm a bad tour guide. Pretty ya. <laughs> Coming to the mouth of Potholes Coulee, you can see over in the sun over there, Wild Horse Wind Farm, bunch of turbines, and then that high point directly in front of us is Kalakam Ridge, and the actual very tippy top high point is the top of the Wenatchee Mountains, and Nanium Ridge over there somewhere is 
Mission Ridge Ski Resort overlooking the city of Wenatchee. And these icicles, surprisingly, have held on pretty well. All this ice over here has held on pretty well. Yeah. Probably because it's got no flowing water to knock it down. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do the talky talky outro here. Thank you for joining us on this coolie outdoors adventure doing the ancient lakes hike here in early february 2023 a little bit of snow a little bit of ice all kinds of excitement um if you like the video please like and subscribe to the channel if you dislike the video tell me what you didn't like in the video in the comments down below and uh We'll see you next time. Maybe we'll go more skiing. Maybe it'll be another hike in the desert. Maybe it'll be a hike on the beach. Out at the ocean. Who knows? But they're all a possibility in this amazing state of ours. So, uh, we'll talk to you later. And, uh, ciao. Where'd he go?